Hey everyone, it is Jay Soloff and this is our Options Trade of the Week. Quick reminder, this is not one of the trades from one of my subscription services. This is just a trade for educational purposes only. All right, let's get into it here. We are at marketchameleon.com, a wonderful site for options analytics and research. And I am at their unusual options page where I can sort by relative volume. So that's the amount of options that trade compared to their average or just overall volume, which is how I've sorted it. Uh, the bigger name stocks tend to have higher volume. You'll recognize a lot of names up here. AMC, Alibaba, ARK, of course, Uber. So sometimes if you sort by relative volume here, you'll see, uh, you know, you, you'll come across some things that are smaller stocks that don't normally trade options. And sometimes that's useful as well. Like for instance, this one, has an average of 90 options and is traded over 5,000. So something may be going on there. You may want to take a deeper look, but we're going to go to some of the bigger names today. And we'll actually look at AMC, which is, uh, you know, obviously popular stock lately. One of the meme socks, uh, so to speak, that, uh, is popular on Reddit and gets a lot of, uh, you know, gets a lot of retail, customers uh, playing in the option chains. Um, over a million options have traded. It's not even the end of the day. 73% on the call side, which tends to be bullish. So as you can see, it is up 30%. So what's happening is, uh, well, the company just raised about 400 some million on a share sale. Um, apparently that sparked the Reddit crowd to get it going again. So you have Reddit pushing the stock higher. It is up 30%. It's up to about 13 and a half. So big day for AMC. And the question is, well, is this just a one day thing? Is it going to hold? You never know for sure, but we can look at the options and kind of see what's going on. Once again, I like to sort the options by quantity and you can see there's not that many big trades. Uh, so this is a lot of retail, a lot of retail action. I mean, you know, it's hundreds are big for a retail trader, but institutional trading will happen in the thousands, generally speaking. Um, we only have three trades in the thousands, but we can maybe get some information from them. So this one looks like a sale of the June. Uh, so that's just, you know, about a month from now, the June 21 calls. Now, I think you can look at something like this and this is an opening trade and you can look at something like this and say, well, this is probably not a naked call sale, right? Because the stock's at 12, uh, you know, 12. 50 here they sold it 21 given how much it spiked 30 percent in one day it would be pretty dangerous to sell naked calls so most likely this is someone who owns the shares and is covering those shares at 21 uh, you know getting some extra you know getting some nice premiums three hundred thousand uh, dollars from the call sale and it caps the gains at 21 which is still quite a bit higher so that's probably what's going on here i would not uh think that someone is going to short calls and again unless they have a long position somewhere else right but most likely this is not a naked call trade it's tied to something else that we just can't see now this next one is is somewhat more meaningful i think it's december 20 calls and they're purchased for 325 most most likely um you know it it's doesn't not likely that we're, there is enough open interest to cover it but it's not likely someone is covering a short at 20 it, it's possible but not likely i would say most likely this is an opening trade uh we know for sure tomorrow by checking the open interest but uh, i think that someone is betting that amc is going to recover particularly after they raised a bunch of money and uh it's, all right three dollars and 25 cents is a lot to spend on a on a pretty far out of the money call um you know that uh that uh, that is just a a pure call buy right but if you think about it though, December, you're paying for, you're paying for time. And if you're going to take a, if you're going to take a bet like that, right? If you're going to bet on a major recovery, like significantly higher then sometimes, uh, you want to go, you're going to go out of the money and you're going to have to pay up, um, for time because if, if and at the money, an at the money option here would be extremely expensive. And we'll take a look at that in a minute, but this is a way to spend, you know, let's say you have $325,000 to spend. Well, what's the best way to spend it? Well, buy time, right? Something speculative like this December gives a lot more time for the stock to recover. Um, 
So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. But what I want to show you here, there's there's an important uh, lesson here, and we'll take a look at it. You can see here the stock spiking. Last time it did that was February during that the big um, uh, January February during the big meme stock push that included GameStop and and that uh, GameStop and that sort of thing. So here we're up to twenty. That's the high. Uh, so that's could be one reason why you're seeing a lot of action around that strike. That's the last place it was. All right, so let's look at the options. So this is what I wanted to talk about here. Look at these December options. All right, let's say you like this stock. Obviously, it was purchased. You know, these that those expensive options were purchased when the stock was twelve fifty, and it's already up to thirteen thirty. So this person's already up. They spent three twenty five. It's already, you know, up you know, somewhere between probably 350, 360. But you look at the price of the at the monies, right? We're talking about $5 an option. That's a lot of money to spend on a $13 stock. You know, it's it's not quite half the stock price, right? But at some point you're like, well, if I'm going to buy options, do I really want to spend, uh, you know, enough money where I'm actually getting to the point where you know, I'm buying the stock, right? So it, it kind of makes sense to go out of the money uh, if, if you're looking at a speculative trade and, and spend a little bit less. You get a little bit more bang for your buck, a little more leverage in that case, especially if you think it's going back higher. So that's what this person is doing. They're just buying these out of the money calls. All right, so if you're interested in that sort of thing, I do call and put purchases uh, in my options profit, uh, I'm sorry, options floor trader Pro, uh, there's a link on this page. We just buy calls and puts, this sort of thing, although a little bit shorter term and a little bit lower price on the options. But it's something that if you're interested in, take a look.